Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this interlaced triquetra knot in Affinity Designer. This knot is made of six interlocked triquetras, and it forms a flower of life-like figure. Alright, so to get started we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions, and we click on Create. And then we'll make sure that snapping and snap to spread is enabled. And then, before we start drawing the figure, we are going to need a diagonal guide. So to draw the diagonal guide, we take the pen tool, we set the fill to none, we leave the stroke as black, and we set the stroke width to one point. And then along the vertical center of the composition, we go ahead and we draw a line from bottom to the top. And then we take the move tool, we go here to enable transform origin to have the rotation center in the middle. And then in the transform panel, we add 60 degrees to the angle to have the guide positioned at a minus 60 degrees orientation. So now that we have the guide in position, we can start drawing the figure. So we take the ellipse tool, we leave the field to none and the stroke to black, and we set the stroke width to 15 points. And then, while holding shift, we create a circle of around 500 by 500 pixels in dimensions. And then, we center the circle vertically. And then we move it downwards along the line. Until it is just a few pixels before the diagonal guide. And then we take the rotation center, we position it in the center of the composition, we press enter to bring out the move duplicate panel, we set the numbers of copy to 5, and the rotation to 60 degrees. So now we have the first set of 6 circles that we need, and we are going to need a second set of 6 circles. So we take any of the circles, we press on Ctrl J to duplicate it, and then we center it horizontally, here towards the right of the composition. And then we move it leftwards, along the line. Until its rotation center lies on the diagonal guide. We do this so that the distance of this circle to the diagonal guide is the same as the distance of this circle here. And then we take the rotation center and we center it in the middle of the composition. We press enter to bring out the move duplicate panel. And here we check on preview settings to apply the same rotation settings as for the first round of circles. And here we check on duplicate. So now we have the second round of circles and we click on OK. And then we select the diagonal guide and we hide it because we are not going to need it anymore. So now we have all the circles that we need to complete the figure. We press on Ctrl A to select all the circles. We go to Layer, Expand Stroke. So what this does is that it converts the stroke object into fill objects. So now the circles are fill only. We need to do this before we start connecting the parts of the objects with the Shape Builder tool. And also before we start using the Shape Builder tool, we go here to the Color panel, we set the stroke to None, and the Fill to Black. We need to do this before we start connecting the parts of the figure with the Shape Builder tool, otherwise the program is going to add a stroke to the elements. And now we can press on Ctrl A to select all the elements in the composition. We take the Shape Builder tool, we set the action to minus, so first we are going to remove the parts that we don't need. So first we remove the part of the second round of circles that lie outside the first round of circles. And then we remove the part here of the first round of circles that lie between the circles in the second round. So only the small part here. So now we have removed all the parts that we don't need, and we switch the action to plus to connect the parts that we need connected together. So we start by connecting the three elements here, the three elements here, 
the three elements here, the three elements here, the three elements here, and the three elements here. And then we connect the elements here, the elements here, the elements here, and then the elements here, the elements here, and the elements here, and then the elements here, the elements here and the elements here. And then the elements here, the elements here, and the elements here. And then the elements here, the elements here, and the elements here. And lastly, the elements here, the elements here, and the elements here. All right, so now we have connected all the parts that we need connected together. The next step is going to be to add the gaps between the various parts of the figure. So we are going to do this with the contour tool. So we take the contour tool, we leave the contour type to round, and we are going to diminish the radius to minus two pixels. And as you can see, this creates the gaps between the elements of the figure. And lastly, we can add a bit of color and noise. So we press on Ctrl A to select all the elements. And I will set the color to this dark turquoise color. And also I will give it a bit of noise. All right, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create an interlaced trick quetra node in Affinity Designer. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye.